Hey y'all, welcome back. Number 16 says Reyna has five coins worth 10 cents each and four coins worth 25 cents each. I'm not sure why they don't just come out and say it. Um, I guess they don't want to assume that you know what coins are worth 10 cents and, and what coins are worth 25 cents, but I mean, come on. Let's simplify this first sentence and just say that she's got five dimes and four quarters. Okay, The dimes are worth 10 cents and the quarters are worth 25 cents. If she chooses two of the coins at random, what is the probability that the two coins combined will be worth at least 35 cents? So as far as like what could possibly happen if you're just randomly picking two coins, they can either be two dimes, two quarters, or one of each. The only um, combination of those that will not be worth 35 cents is if we pick two dimes, right? Two dimes, two 10 cent pieces are gonna be worth 20 cents. But if we pick a dime and a quarter, that gets us up to that 35 cent mark. So I think the easiest way to approach this problem is, in, is to kind of find um, not the probability that the two coins will be worth at least 35 cents, but to find what's the probability that we actually don't get that, and then subtract that from 100%. So let's calculate the probability of getting two consecutive dimes. Okay, so the probability, probability is calculated by computing the number of desired outcomes divided by the number of possible outcomes. All right, this is how you cal calculate probability in general, just a simple probability. How many options will give you what you're looking for divided by how many total options are there? So um, if we wanna find the probability of picking two dimes in a row, which is the only case in which you wouldn't get at least 35 cents, we will say, okay, well, the probability of getting the first coin to be a dime, since there are five dimes in this pile uh, and a total of nine coins, the probability here is going to be five over nine. Now, that's just the probability of picking a dime first. When we have these combined probabilities where the second event depends on the first event, you have to think about how many possible outcomes are you actually left with, right? So we pick one dime. The probability of the second one being a dime, well, since so we've already picked one dime and we've removed it, there's only four dimes left, and there's only eight total coins left. So on that second event, for the second coin, there's a probability of four out of eight, or a 50% chance. Now, this is a combined probability problem where we're not just calculating the probability of one event, but two consecutive events. And so the way that you combine these probabilities is to multiply them. Okay, so if I multiply these fractions, what this is going to give me is the probability of picking two dimes in a row. Okay, so I'm going to say times four eighths, which is really just one half, but I'm not even going to bother reducing it because these numbers are just small anyway. Okay, so let me make a note here. Here, here is the probability of picking two dimes in a row, and with, I'll make a little note here, without replacement, meaning we're not gonna put the dime that we picked back. So five ninths times four eighths is gonna be, give me, let's see, five times four would be 20, nine times eight would be 72, and we can go ahead and put that in, uh, well, you know what, let's just, um, uh, let's go ahead and reduce this, I think. So 20 over 72, would that reduce to? I'm going to put that in my calculator here. 20 over 72 is going to give me, uh, let's see, both of those are divisible by, let's just do one at a time here. You know, forget the calculator. Let's just divide by 2. That would be 10 over, uh, what would that be, 36, and then divide by 2 again to get 5 over 18. Okay, so 5 18 Right, and we can calculate that out of 100%, but really that's what we're looking for. Okay, so five out of 18 potential events are going to give us two dimes in a row. Now to figure out, well, we want kind of the other side of that, right? We don't care about, well, the question here is asking, what is the probability that you get at least 35 cents? And so that's going to be all the other possibilities, right? There's a total of 18 total um, 
uh, uh, possible outcomes here where five of them are going to be two, picking two dimes in a row. So the probability of picking two coins that will be worth at least 35 cents and again without replacements is going to be one minus this so in other words it's going to be well all 18 outcomes right so this would be a hundred percent of all the total outcomes uh, minus those five outcomes that would be the two dimes in a row and that's going to give us 13 possible outcomes this is going to give us our answer here 13 out of 18 um, which is going to be the probability of picking two coins that add up to at least 35 cents. Well, that's it for number 16. Thanks for watching and have a great day.